Brian with Grand Roofing bringing you another quick video inspection. We've got a leak coming in right around this general spot. The homeowner did me a big favor. Actually, he did this uh, off camera ahead of time, but he found a leak in his front living room right near this furnace pipe. So let's switch the camera around and get to it because it is still nasty out here. All right, switch the camera around. Uh, inside his living room right here, he had seen a little spot developing in between two pieces of drywall. You can see the tape line right here. There's a window right out that room. You can easily see. You come up on the roof, you go, you look over the window, and you can find out in the location. It's right here, just past the center of the ridge, just to the east side of it. In the attic, he had seen a little bitty wet spot, uh, probably a little rotted four or five inch spot where a nail or something was sticking down. Maybe they shirt shot some silica. I don't know what it is, but he did that. Right there is something we're going to talk about quickly and then also just look over this general spot because I'm not so sure that's the only issue going on. The biggest issue, yes. I don't like nailing down. First off, I like nailing my lower edges of the flange down, but I don't do the lower outer edges because it can catch water. When I do mine, I keep them up higher in a little bit like this. Never super low on the bottom outer edge. What you get is water running down, trickling down on this metal flange right here and eventually gets under the flange, even though you've sealed the top side, it trickles down around, will eventually rust out a galvanized nail. Yes, you heard, rust out a galvanized nail. A galvanized nail is just a coating of galvanization on the outer side, out, outer edge of it. It's still ferrous, it's still gonna rust. Over time, it'll take for that galvanization to wear out, rust out, then rust the nail in, reducing the diameter, making it where water will trickle in. So when water gets down here and it gets on that nail, you see that hole it's going into, it's just, saying hey come on in follow me down gravity you can come right down the hole and pull straight down rotting this out so a simple repair not a permanent fix in the sense of removing the wood but get some gsl 4500 uh, black stuff works in the wet conditions not plain silicone it won't stick to a wet surface um squirt some under here by the way i'll put a link in the description because some areas you can't find it but you can get it on amazon ship to you I would recommend some of that stuff shot under here. Keep it discreet so it's not gonna ooze out everywhere. Put a nail in higher and up further where it's gonna hit some good solid wood, driving this down, and then discreetly caulk the edge. I've seen guys shoot way the heck down on the bottom edge, not good. It's gonna wick up under a little bit. Same on the other ends, bring them in a little bit. So that's something you can do to stop the leak right here. But you also wanna various, or just look over this section here to make sure there's no other areas coming in. Sorry, I had a phone call coming in. It's been a busy couple hours with the rain. So the keyways here, it's really important to watch your keyway, your pattern, and your nail placement. Even though I'm pretty confident that's it, you could have a very similar thing with this right here. See that nail right there? You can see it's definitely rusted. You could probably pluck that out of there and see the nail shaft going down where it's wrapped around the wood is kind of rusting away. You never want water nails in an area with about five inches of a keyway. So let's talk pattern real quick. You want to make sure you have enough stagger to your keyway, your book, your pattern, whatever we refer to it as, and your nails are out of those sections. So chances are what happened, because I see another one here, there's probably others up the way. So there's one, there's one, the one I looked at. I thought I'd seen a couple a minute ago. I thought I was recording, the phone wasn't even recording. Here, since this is loose, this is probably Tamco Roof, look at this. Southeast facing side, eh, Tamco roof not sealing down. Let's look in there. There's the nail, and there's about the area it's supposed to be near the keyway. Chances are a roofer that was doing this was kind of in a hurry, trying to wham bam, thank you ma'am, and making sh not making sure his nails are right on the end. They're probably getting closer, just being lazy. And, you know, that nail there should be over here. So you want to make sure your pattern and nail placement's good. See, those are going to rust out over time, and then you got a hole right there where water will trickle in right there. There are times, depending upon if you start building the lead on your left or on your right, if you're filling it on the right or filling it on the left or in a valley per se, you might have to offset your tabs. You might have to put a tab in. It's like, say, you start over here on this gable, run to the valley. But depending upon where they break, I would always cut a one tab, and then the shingle above it would be a two tab, and then a full tab or a full shingle to build your pattern into the valley and making sure your keyways and your nail placement is correct or out of those crucial areas. So there are some exceptions to the rule of watching your, your pattern and your nail placement. The biggest thing with the nails, you don't want nails near those keyways. Wherever that keyway is, you also don't want a keyway above or below it. You want them offset far enough. So no more than it's gonna do or take right here for this, five minutes, if that, a minute to get down to the truck, 
put some sealer under there, drive it down for him, and this guy should be taken care of. Keep an eye on the leak, make sure it's good. I'll also spot a few of these, but chances are if that is there and another one just down a shingle or two, probably safe to say that the entire field has various nails in the keyways. Let's just look here, see if I can find a slight gap and my, those are just pulling apart. Right here's another one. This is definitely a Tamco. See that? That's not good. It's it's a half inch or so over. But the point being that the roofer that roofed this was very careless with his nail placement. Probably find some more. Another one right there in the keyway. Can you see it? That one's pretty rusted out. So it is really important to watch your nail placement. Using the phone today, I hope you can hear me. Ooh, I about rolled my ankle there. If you like the video, secret word I know you watch this for, ankle. Almost bit my ankle off right there. Give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Until next time, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one.